guiding like Prince Charles to hang poignant Holocaust portraits in Buckingham Palace. Prince Charles has commissioned portraits of seven of the last Holocaust survivors still alive in Britain as a reminder of history's darkest days. The portraits will become part of the royal collection and will be displayed in Buckingham Palace while the process of creating them will be covered in a forthcoming BBC documentary. Helen Aronson, Lily Ebert, Manfred Goldberg, Eric Hirsch, Anita Lasker Wallfish, Rachel Levy and Ziggy Shipper will talk about their experiences in the BBC2 programme, Survivors, Portraits of the Holocaust. The Prince of Wales said that the project was vitally important now with declining numbers of survivors and to inform future generations. He said, as the number of Holocaust survivors sadly, but inevitably, declines, my abiding hope is that this special collection will act as a further guiding light for our society, reminding us not only of history's darkest days, but of humanity's interconnectedness as we strive to create a better world for our children, grandchildren and generations as yet unborn, one where hope is victorious over despair and love triumphs over hate. Kate made Prince William her number one priority after Meghan and Harry quit. The Duchess of Cambridge, helped Prince William overcome anxieties by focusing her energies on him, a royal journalist has claimed. Kate vowed to support her husband after he was visibly distraught following Meghan Markle's controversial comments in her interview to Oprah Winfrey last year. Angela Levin, a royal journalist told GB News, I thought that woman yet young woman has got a lot of courage a lot of determination and I think that she's used a determination as and when she wants to. And it's worked absolutely brilliantly she doesn't complain she doesn't lose her temper, aides have worked with her for a long time say you never see her in a really bad mood and she also knows exactly how to help William and if he gets stressed she can calm it and make him laugh and he's her number one priority and when Harry and Meghan gave their interview to Oprah Winfrey she put all her energy into looking after William. Never mind, that she'd been attacked and criticized beyond anything that was reasonable she was wanted to look after him and make sure that he would help him deal with it, 